So the first look of Google's next flagship phone has been released nine months before its launch and there are some controversial design changes. What's up guys, Sal here. So I know the Pixel 8 Pro was just launched. It's been like three months, but that isn't stopping leakers from getting early images of the Pixel 9 Pro. This is coming from OnLeaks, who as you know, has a great track record. And as you can see, the phone has completely flat edges, giving off iPhone vibes. Now it's not just Google jumping on the Apple design train, Samsung hopped on that wagon too with their new Galaxy S24. Honestly, I'm not bothered by the whole copying thing. If you're gonna copy, might as well copy the good stuff, you know? I've always liked how the iPhones rock that flat frame. Also from the looks of it, the frame is chamfered at the edges. They're not sharp. More like the iPhone 15 Pro, which is cool because the S24 has some sharp corners going on. What I'm surprised about though is the camera module. Google has also redesigned the rear camera bar. Instead of spreading it all across, they've got this three camera setup tucked in a bulging oval shaped island, kind of like what we saw on the Pixel Fold. I'm seeing a lot of people on Twitter that they don't like this design. Personally, I like it. To be honest, it looks exactly like the iPhone 15 Pro with a punch hole camera and a different camera module. But hey, let's keep it real. The iPhone 15 Pro already looks sharp, minus that weird pill shaped cutout. So no biggie if Google's picking up those cool design cues. Anyway, Google seems to have changed the placement of the SIM card. Now it sits at the bottom right next to the USB-C port. Interestingly, OnLeaks mentions that the Pixel 9 Pro will sport a 6.5 inch display, noticeably smaller than the 6.7 inch screen on the 8 Pro. Funny thing is, the overall dimensions aren't really different from last year. Now call me skeptical, but I'm thinking this might be a hiccup. He pulled the same move with the Pixel 8 Pro, predicting a smaller display, but that didn't pan out. He's clearly measuring the screen wrong. The Pixel 9 Pro will have Tensor G4 chip, and there were reports that it will be manufactured by TSMC instead of Samsung's foundry. This was a big deal because, you know, TSMC-made chips have better performance, thermals, and efficiency. But turns out Google's deal with TSMC fell apart due to low volume. So they're back to teaming up with Samsung's Foundry to make the Tensor G4. Now before you get disappointed, let me tell you that Samsung Foundry finally found a way to manufacture chipsets that are not overheating. Their latest Exynos on the S24 performs on par with the Snapdragon counterpart while maintaining the thermals. So I don't think Google coming back to Samsung is a problem. Anyway, if you haven't seen the speed test between the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you can find it here and I'll see you there.